What up boys, welcome back to Balance Change Review. Uh, today I wasn't actually going to be doing this video, but uh, here we are anyway. We're making the good old Balance Change Review. This one is going to be very quick because obviously I didn't post it yesterday as I was supposed to. So I'm just going to zoom through them and yeah, we're not going to do big discussion. It's going to be like big positive, big negative, and then I'm going to answer all of your comments and it's just going to be a discussion. I guess, a balance change discussion rather than a review, but I'm still going to call it a review because that's the series name. Anyway, which, of course, as we knew, was getting the big nerf. Remove their air damage, it's just gone. She's now single target. In my opinion, doesn't really change too much. She's basically single target anyway. Um, hit speed being reduced, so she hits slower. They should have put increased on this because her hit speed is going up, but I guess it makes sense in terms of nerfing, but... Yeah, to 1.7, uh, I think that's going to hurt her quite a bit. Um, her skeleton first spawn is, got, is moving 2.5 seconds slower, which is a good change in my opinion, just because um, I, I did a video on the witch and I was like, she's most vulnerable in, uh, in the state before she has skeletons, so now she's going to be very vulnerable to place, and she's less of a defensive stalwart, and now just sort of like, I don't know, I guess you have to use her for pushes more so than just relying on her defense. So yeah, these are good changes overall. I don't really need to read this one because it doesn't change all that much so yeah in my opinion uh big positive changes um will which still be good hmm. i think she'll be, like be on the level of night which was before which got buffed so she'll be used in the decks that really want to use witch as just you know support but otherwise not really going to be used uh, i think this one is a big killer to her she hits very very slow now and this one is also a big killer to her moving on to uh elixir golem this one uh this one's difficult for me to judge. Because yes, Elixir Golem is strong. Oh, that I didn't want to do that. Um, but also, like, Elixir Golem isn't strong in the sense where... Uh, it is strong in the sense where it needs stat nerfs. But it's stronger in the sense where people don't know how to play against it. So, they've taken 10% HP off of all of, its, all of its units, I guess. Which is, you know, there are, what, 7 different units in there? So that's quite a lot of HP that's now going to be missing. But... Yeah, uh, I don't really have to comment on this one, because we've never had a troop that has lost health to multiple units inside of it, like, at once, so, I don't know, I think as uh, as people learn how to counter it better, and with this nerf, I think he's going to be toned down a bit, do I think it's a little bit strong? Um, maybe, I think, yeah, I think he has the capacity to be strong just again, because people don't really know what they're doing, and also... 10% isn't the largest numbers, but again, it's affecting so many things, so yeah, not too sure on how I feel about this one. I think it's positive, of course, because it needed enough, but um, yeah, I think he'll still be strong, maybe. Don't quote me on that when he's totally dead next month. Anyway, wall breakers, damage down, let's just call it 20%. Um, it's area damage radius reduced to 1.5 tiles, and they deploy slightly further apart. I'm not really sure what this does to it. Um, this does almost nothing, but this is pretty big, losing 20% damage to a card that is just damage. So yeah, in my opinion, it's um, a positive change. Do I think they're dead? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. I don't think they were all that strong. Like, of course they were strong and they needed a nerf, but I think 20% is big. I think, like, you could have done 20% here to Alexa Golem and 10% to Wall Breakers, and I would have been like, yeah, that probably seems good, but... Yeah, I think it uh, deserved nerf, but I do think they're probably going to be pretty useless. They hadn't really found the way into decks because they're, like, the strongest card in the game. Like, obviously, they're pretty strong, but I guess it's a little bit of hype because they just got buffed. And a little bit of Elixir Golem being strong, a little bit just fitting the meta. So, yeah, in my opinion, positive. Um, don't think they're going to be all too strong after this. Fisherman, his hook range is going down by 6, which is interesting. And his hook charge time is going up 0.1 seconds. This seems sort of useless, but whatever i guess um a slightly lower hook range don't know how i feel about this i still feel like he should have been four elixir maybe <laughs> i'm gonna be real but yeah i guess i guess it's a positive i still think he's gonna be strong because this is like a very very small nerf he's still a very strong unit and you know the concept of him is still very strong even though he's a tile less but yeah i think um positive direction not the best execution ever talking of execution that wasn't actually an intentional pun that was just Maybe because execution is on my mind, I said it. But yeah, anyway, let's go down. Uh, his max range is being buffed. He's getting a better max range, which is cool, I guess. His X radius is going down 20%. And his hover time. Um, is that like the time that's in the air? That's interesting. I don't know what hover time really means. I'm not doing this on Reddit um, as I sort of usually do. I'm sort of just on the classroom website. So we're staying here, okay? Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this one. He's getting a larger range with radius going down. And I guess this is enough. Executioner needed enough. He got enough. Uh, will he still be strong? 
I don't know, it depends, it all depends on this one. These two, um, they obviously affect it, but they sort of cancel each other out in a way. This is the one it sort of relies on, it depends, like, how little he actually hits with his 20%, so... Yeah, I guess we'll find out in the coming month. Uh, Barbarian Barrel, damage, 8%. Uh, is there an interaction to that? You know what, I'll go Reddit to find out for you. Come back. Okay, where are we? We are... We are here. We're happy Barbarian Barrels interacts with most troops. It felt that a small ground under spell should at least knock the shields off a troop like guards. This damage increases last plus one. Barbarian Barrels destroy princesses. Um, okay, so they kill guard shields. Whatever, this does absolutely nothing to the game. Um, Baby Dragon minus a little bit of HP. So I actually said um, in the meta review video I did that I don't think Baby Dragon needs a nerf. I think he's an okay card, but I think the meta is what makes him even stronger. And I was like, I don't think he needs to be changed, but if I had to change him, I'd take the smallest bit of his, he uh, of his HP if I could talk. And yeah, that's what they've done. So probably a neutral direction. It's just sort of like, all right, if that's what you wanted to do. But yeah, good change in my opinion. And yeah, that is all of them. And actually the road links here, which is sort of unfortunate for me. Um, Yeah, sorry I didn't get this video out uh, on the day that it usually comes out. It's a, it's a day late, but we won't talk about it. Anyway, uh, leave your comments. I actually haven't rated them. Oh no, I was going to end, but I haven't actually rated them. Um, Rating these balance changes. My only problem is these balance changes were incredibly easy to do. Because we knew the four problem cards. And they touched the four problem cards and... Yeah, like everyone's gonna be happy because they touch problem cards, but the negative is that they're problem cards in the first place, so I don't really know. I think, um, maybe if we ignore the fact that, like, there are problem cards, because we rated that before in different reviews, then maybe I give it a 4 out of 5. It's not perfect, I'd like to have seen more, but they did say, um, they weren't gonna try and do too many reworks this, reworks this time, because, uh, the meta's been messed up already, so... I guess that's fair. Uh, I don't think it's perfect. I think there are some better changes you could have done to cars like Barbarian Barrel in here. I think that's a very lame one. It's a very easy one as well, just to shove it in there and be like, oh, it now takes a guard shield. It doesn't really change anything. It's very easy. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's my review. Four out of five. Again, if you want to vote, it is in your top right corner of the screen. One through five, because YouTube only lets me put five in the poll. But, yeah, boys, uh, thank you for watching this balance change review. I hope you enjoyed it. And peace.